Over a century ago, renowned British Egyptologist Sir Dr. E. A. Wallace Budge, a keeper of the Egyptian and Assyrian antiquities at the British Museum, as well as a confessed Christian, remarked that a study tracing the influence of ancient Egyptian religious beliefs and mythology on Christianity would fill a comparatively large volume. Since Dr. Budge's time, for a variety of reasons, including the seemingly irreconcilable academic gap between historians and theologians, no one has taken up the call to produce such a volume until now. Destined to be a classic enjoyed by both the professional scholar and the layperson, this comparative religion book contains a startling perspective of the extraordinary history of the Egyptian religion and its profound influence upon the later Christian faith. Christ in Egypt, the Horus Jesus Connection by D.M. Murdoch, also known as Acharya S., uses a massive amount of primary sources and the works of highly credentialed authorities in relevant fields to demonstrate that the popular gods Horus and Jesus possessed many characteristics and attributes in common. Drawing from thousands of ancient Egyptian texts in an assortment of translations along with the original language, as well as modern research in a number of other languages, controversial independent scholar of comparative religion and mythology, Ms. Murdoch, puts together an astonishing amount of fascinating information that shows many of our most cherished religious beliefs and concepts did not appear suddenly out of the blue, but have long histories in numerous cultures found around the globe, including and especially in the glorious land of the pharaohs. If you thought part one of the official version of the movie Zeitgeist was interesting and wanted to learn more, here is the book you have been waiting for. Find out whether or not the following is true about the Egyptian god Horus. Horus was born on December 25th or the winter solstice in a manger. He was of royal descent and his mother was the Virgin Isis Mary. Horus's birth was announced by a star in the east and attended by three wise men. At age 12 he was a child teacher in the temple and at age 30 he was baptized. Horus was baptized by Anup the baptizer who was decapitated. The Egyptian god had 12 companions, helpers or disciples. Horus performed miracles, exorcised demons and raised Osiris from the dead. The god walked on water. Horus was crucified between two thieves. He, or Osiris, was buried for three days in a tomb and resurrected. Horus, or Osiris, was also the way, the truth, the life, Messiah, the Son of Man, the Good Shepherd, the Lamb of God, the Word made flesh, the Word of Truth, etc. Horus was called Holy Child as well as the Anointed One while Osiris was the Christ. Horus battle with the evil one, Set or Seth. Horus was to reign for 1,000 years. Christ in Egypt, the Horus-Jesus connection, uses thousands of primary source texts, such as the Egyptian Book of the Dead, the Pyramid texts, the Coffin texts, the Hebrew and Greek Old Testaments, the Greek New Testament, Coptic texts, and the writings of early church fathers. Christ in Egypt also includes research in the original languages such as Egyptian, Greek, Latin, and Hebrew. Christ in Egypt incorporates modern research in German and French with everything conveniently translated for your ease of reference. Christ in Egypt further includes a brand new map of Egypt specifically created by the author with all the relevant place names. Christ in Egypt further provides 60 plus illustrations, contains almost 2400 citations and footnotes frequently annotated in the old school manner at the bottom of each page. Christ in Egypt includes an extensive user friendly table of contents and index and provides a massive bibliography of over 900 sources including books by respected publishers and peer reviewed journals. The citations provide cross-references for a variety of translations of Egyptian texts from the earliest in English to the most modern, including the translations of Raymond Faulkner, 
James P. Allen, as well as Thomas George Allen, Samuel Mercer, E. A. Wallace Budge, and Samuel Birch. Christ in Egypt includes the works of popular modern Egyptologists such as the following. Also provided in Christ in Egypt are comments from respected astronomers and historians. Find out more about how Christianity was largely created at Alexandria, Egypt by wealthy citizens, politicians, and brotherhood groups. Who are the Therapeutes? Who is Philo? Who is the hybridizing emperor? Also find out why this important and fascinating information is not widely known. Christ in Egypt provides information you won't currently get from any typical theology or comparative religion course. This book will change all of that. See how. And be sure to bring this material up to your teacher or professor's attention. I'm sure they'll love it.